This is a tutorial that shows you how to set up um, a layout for a book using page styles and how to insert header and footers for each of those page styles as well as other formatting options. I am using OpenOffice version 3.2. So we start with a text document, just a blank document, and we're going to bring up the page styles. Right? So you can see at the moment we've got paragraph styles, so we want to go across to the page styles. Now I'm going to base all my page styles on the default, so we're going to new style from selection, which is going to use the default style as a basis, and I'm going to type in the style for chapter one. All right, I'm going to create a new style. New style from selection, chapter two, and chapter three. And to keep this simple, I'm just going to make it a three chapter book. All right. Now the other thing that I want to do is probably have an index, so I'll do chapter index because the index um, index term is a reserve term. You can already see there's a, an index style over here, so I'm calling it chapter index. So my first page will be a title page, you know, just a standard default template is probably all that's necessary. What I can then do is I can insert a manual break and we're going to use the chapter one page break style. Alright, so we're going like that. So this is chapter one. You'll notice there's no headers or footers. We have text for chapter one. Here, we can do any formatting that we like. Now, we want to insert a header, and you can see that we have different styles for different page styles. All right, so we're gonna do a header for chapter one. We can put the chapter one title here. and then we can insert the page number using insert fields page number. All right, and that puts that in nicely. We've finished chapter one, we're gonna go into chapter two. So we insert a manual break. Again, we're gonna choose a style, but this time we're gonna choose chapter two. I'm gonna click okay. And you'll notice that when the new page comes out, you can see the style being reflected over in the, the form, styles and formatting box. Plus you can see that there's no headers left over. All right. So if we scroll up to chapter one, chapter one still has its headers, but we're now in chapter two, which doesn't have the headers. So we've got chapter two, chapter two text, any formatting. And of course, we want to have a different header for chapter two. So we're going to insert the chapter two header Maybe insert a page number. The chapter two could have multiple pages. So we can sort a regular page break just by going um, control enter or command enter, depending on whether you're doing this in Apple or um, Windows. And some more text. Right. So finish chapter two. And now we're going to go into chapter three. So we insert a manual break, have chapter three. Okay, and again, you can see that there's no headers or footers. The style over here is chapter three. We go up to chapter two and we can still see that the chapter two has its own header as well. So we just repeat the same thing again, chapter three. You can keep going for different chapters. So we apply any oh, apply any formatting that we want. And again, because we want to have a different header for each of the chapters, now we have a chapter three header, so which we can insert the chapter three title. And again, insert fields and put a page number in there. And then when we come to the end, insert a manual break. I want to have my index chapter. This is the index. Page one, page two, by subject, whatever. Keyword. Again, a heading. And we want to insert a header for the chapter index. Insert page number. 
So we have all of these chapters. You can see in the preview, we have the title page, which goes to page two. And we can actually renumber those. You'll notice that when we insert a break, a manual break, insert manual break, you can actually go to chapter one and change the page number. So you can restart the numbering as well. It's entirely up to you. And I hope this has given you an idea on how to outline a book using different page styles to apply different headers. And you can actually do other formatting for the page styles. We can go format page and for our index, and this will apply to the page style chapter index. We can change our margins on the page as well. So then you'll notice that for the previous chapters, the larger margins still exist, but for the index, we have a smaller margin. And so any format page options that you select will apply only to the page format that you are currently positioned in with your cursor. And I hope this helps. Thanks very much.